Hello everyone, I'm Peter Liu, your Orlando real estate expert and Orlando tour guide. We are actually at Terminal C, where Brightline just announced the cost to travel from Central Florida to South Florida. You're going to see, to get to the Brightline, you're going to be on level C5, which is cool. You can't get really lost as these lines be under me. I don't know if you see the orange, green, and blue lines. Blue lines telling you to go that way, Terminal C. The, the green and orange is going to tell you how to get to Terminal A and B. But you guys are going to follow me this way. We're going to take you side into the terminal and show you how the bright line looks, the sitting area, and everything as well. So come on, let's go. Area that we're in is terminal that gives you the tram to Terminal A and B. If you needed to join one of these airline companies, you go to Terminal C that way. So take a look at the list. This is where they're gonna be. Most of, I'm looking at this, these are mostly uh, international flights and most of the domestic flights are still gonna be in A and B. But everything's always changing here at MCO, Orlando International Airport. The thing that I know about Central Florida, we're always under construction. Take a look outside. They're gonna build something else out there. I'm not really sure what those pillars are for, but they're building something there. And you see construction cones, everything. So all the way across the opposite side, opposite side of us is the actual Terminal C. And you can see that, look, there's a tram. So this is not the Brightline train. So people might mistaken, you know, my kids actually do it. Daddy, is that the train that's going to Miami? No, that's actually the tram that will take you from this section, this terminal over to um, Terminal A and B. Man, I love the smell, the quietness of this terminal. I mean, this is this is going to be a bustling terminal one day, just not right now today. But let's go take a look at the let's go take a look at the tram real fast. See how the tram works. So terminal link, you see people coming and going right there. So that right there, that tram will take everybody to the other side. Actually, if you can look all the way across, I'm not sure you guys can see it. So that's where the sitting area is gonna be for the Bright Line. So the walk from the parking garage to the Bright Line station took me roughly five minutes, depending on where you park, but it's also on C5. So as long as you park on level C5, it should be easy shot to this parking garage um, or terminal to get into the entrance. But here we go, let's see if it's open. And there you go. Still under construction, but you guys can see it from the last video that we created. There was a big barrier here, but now here's the bright line. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through here. Wow. All right, you guys, it's just like everything else. The bright line, you can go over to the kiosk and buy your tickets to go to South Florida. Like I said in the last video, you can get to Tampa one day, but this is pretty amazing. Um, if I was crazy enough, I would jump through there, but I think I might get in trouble and get, get hauled out of here by security. So that is a restricted area, but here, here you go. It's start touching things. Actually, come over here. Let's see if we can uh, travel from. Is it, is it working? Oh, it is. Where do you want to go? So come in, zoom in. So tickets and travel. So you come in, hit train tickets. Where we want to go? We want to go from, I don't think they have the Orlando in yet because it's actually not ready. So let's just go from West Palm to Miami today, search. There you go. So here's all the prices. So this is pretty simple and easy. This is actually, if you have to get it on a job, it's traveling. We actually spoke with this a bunch of real estate. The price is a little higher, but the convenience factor is if you are doing a business trip and you don't want to deal with the traffic to get from Orlando to Miami, you can sit there on your laptop work. I mean, with the Wi-Fi, I believe they have Wi-Fi pass on it. Or you, if you have your phone and you have a hotspot. So it's going to be fun and amazing. This thing's so new. They're gonna start letting people go I believe next month um, and it's gonna be an amazing trip down to Miami and as you can see we can't get through there if I make a run for it I might get arrested uh, yeah I'm not gonna do that for you guys I'm not getting arrested for everybody but you can see that's probably there's a sitting area waiting area so it's finally announced it's finally open it is amazing you guys we're gonna we're gonna put links down there in the details on the exact access of where they're gonna go. Like you saw the list. You can go to a bunch of locations down in South Florida, Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, Boca. But Brightline's here and it's gonna be amazing. Can't wait till it goes out to Tampa, everything else. Um, like our channel and we'll keep you up to date on not only the Brightline, what else has come 
and put a, put a comment and link. If there's something in Central Florida that you want to see and you want us to do a video on, let me know. Have a wonderful day.